Good day, we'll be discussing how to find the areas and probabilities under the normal curve. Now, when you search the internet, there are two or three types of z-tables in the internet. But I'll be using this type of uh, z-table. If you notice on this drawing on above the normal curve, it says that the areas or probabilities that are inside this table is coming from the left. It's already on the left side of the normal curve. Okay, so all the areas here comes from the left side of the normal curve. Now I will discuss three different cases and strategies on how to find the areas or probabilities of this in this normal curve. Now for any z scores, k, a, and b. We have the first case that for the probability of z less than or equal to k, then our strategy here is just to go to our table directly because the value is on our table. Because again, our table, the areas here are directly to the left or from the left side of the normal curve. So take note, this is the direction for this one is to the left. So this is the easiest among the three. If you see this notation or to the left, then we go directly to our table and find the value. Now, if we have this case number two, if it's greater than or equal, then our strategy is, of course, one minus the probability to the left. Say, for example, we have this illustration. And say, for example, we have our K here. And for case number two, we are asked to find the areas to the right, since this is greater than, so areas to the right. Okay, so this is the area to the right. Now, since our table is the area or are the areas from the left, so in order for us to get the area or this area, we need to delete this per portion, okay, from one. Okay, because the area of the whole curve is 1. So from the whole curve, which is 1, if we delete this portion, we will be left with this shaded portion. That is why we have 1 minus the area to the left. Okay, again, because the areas from the table are the areas from the left. And last case, if... If we have this, this Z is in between two Z scores A and B, then the areas here is just equal to the difference of the area of Z less than or equal to B minus the area of Z less than or equal to A. So if here is A and here is B, so we are asked to find the areas in bit or the area in between area or the probability in between so in order for us to find this area first we will get the area this area to the left of b so this area here is the area to the left of b but take note we only need the area from a to b so meaning until here only this is not included and this area here the one that I marked with X, this is the area to the left of A. Or from the left of A. So that is why our strategy here is the area to the left, which is this hole, minus the area to the left of A. So we are left with this area in the middle. Okay? So all you need to do is to familiarize or memorize these three strategies. Given that you're using this table, because again in Google you have you can see other tables, Z tables. Okay, let, for example, what is the probability of Z or area of Z less than or equal to 1.05? So this is less than. So our strategy is we go directly to our table. So that is positive 1.05. So this side here is the positive one. So 1.05. So 1.0 is here. 5 is here, so 1.05, so 1.0, so 
So, we have here, 8, 5, 3, 1. So, meaning, the area here is 0. 0.8, 5, 3, 1. Now, if you want to illustrate this one, so, we have the 0 is at the middle. And 1.05 is here to the right side of 0. So, less than, so to the left. Okay, so this is the illustration of the given probability. So, the shaded area here is 0.8531. Okay, so 1.0 and then 5. So, we have 0.8531. Next example. Probability of Z greater than or equal to negative 2.33. So, this is greater than or equal. So, all we need to do is to use our strategy, 1 minus the area to the left of negative 2.33. So, illustrating this one first, we have 0. Negative 2.33 somewhere here. Just estimate. Negative 2.33. So, greater than. So, it means to the right. So, one point, uh, 2.33, so again, negative, negative 2.33, so negative 2.3 is here, 1, 2, 3, point zero zero nine nine. so 1 minus point zero zero nine nine so you can you may use your your calculate later to solve for this one so this is point nine nine zero one so this shaded area here is point nine nine zero one. Okay, so we have again negative 2.3 tapos 3. So 33.99. Next, what is the probability of Z less than or equal to negative 1.65? So this is less than. So again, direct from the table. So it's negative 1.65. So here, negative 1.6. So, here's negative 1.6. 5 is here. This one. So, point zero four nine five. So, what is that? Point zero four nine five. Point zero four nine five. Okay, so 0, negative 1.65 is to the left of 0. So, this is left side. So, this is the area, a very small area. So, it's 0 0.0495. Again, negative 1.65. 0 0.0495. Next. Okay, so Z is in between these two Z scores. So our strategy here is to get the difference. So we'll start first with the bigger Z and subtract the smaller Z. So Z, 1.33 minus the probability of Z to the left of negative 2.0. Nine. So now we can use our strategy 1 because it both of them are now on the left side. So by the way, if we draw this one, so negative 2.09 is here. The other one is 1.33. So the area is this one. So 
So now let's go to the table. 1.33. What is positive 1.33? 1.3. 3. Okay, so 0 0.9082. 0 0.9082. Minus negative 2.09, so negative 2.09, so at the end, so negative 2.09. 183, 0.0183. 0, 1, 8, 3. So, using your calculator, this is equal to 8899. Okay, 8, 0.8899. So, the area between negative 0 0.09 and 1.33 is 0.8. Nine, nine. Okay. Next example, the probability of Z greater than or equal to 3. So, this is greater than. So, our strategy again is P, uh, 1 minus the probability to the left of Z. So, 3. So, 3 is somewhere here. Positive 3. So, to the right. So, we need this area. So, by just looking, it's very small. So, 1 minus, what, what is 3, positive 3 here? 9987. So, point nine nine eight seven. So, subtract this one. This is equal to 0 0.0013. Okay, 0 0.0013. And last example, Z is between 1.79 and 2.78. So both of them are on the right side. So 1.79 and the other one is 2.78. So we need this area. So again, our solution is this. So probability or area to the left of the bigger Z score, which is 2.78, minus the probability of the smaller Z score, which is 1.79. Then both of them are now less than or equal, so we can now use our table directly. So we have 2.78, positive 2.78. So we have 2.7, 2.7, and 8 is this one. 9973. 0 0.9973. Minus 1.79. 1. 1.7 is here, then to the last. Nine, nine, six, three, three. Point nine, six, three, three. So again, use your calculator. This is equal to point zero three four. A uh, point zero three. So this is the area of the shaded region, 0 0.0340. Okay, so again, you just need to familiarize or memorize these three strategies. Thank you for listening.